Hey guys, Fabuli here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines where I've made a few changes, some of which we can't really see right now, but we'll get into those in a little bit. But some that you can kind of see is over here. We have a brand new highway that runs down set, well, I guess what I'm calling south, runs down the side of the map, comes down here and we have a brand new highway that runs along the bottom. We've got the Southern Highway now installed all along the bottom. And then it comes up this side here as well and links up with the other highway. So we now have a highway that essentially runs across the entire map, at least around this way. And I've made sure to build, you know, bridges where it's appropriate. Uh, and I've made them a little bit higher. In, well, okay, ignore the power lines. I do want to change that. I got to download the uh, underground power lines because that looks really dumb, but we need those down here for now. Uh, and then in this place here, I've done a tunnel instead because this is like the main shipping lane. Again, um, ignore the power lines because that looks really dumb, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's where that is for now. Uh, yeah, so that tunnel's underneath, comes up, and I've actually built a little interchange here, and this is where we're going to build our first little town over the other side of the water. So what I was thinking we could do is, you know, this episode we'll build this up, probably get like a little ferry stop in here somewhere. And then we can easily connect that up to the main hub over here. And that's going to be the idea with that. And then from there, we'll probably just continue building out this space. Uh, I kind of split this road out back here thinking that, you know, I'd build this up a lot more and there'd be a lot of traffic. I don't know that there will be, but that's kind of how I've done it so far. I've just set a few little roads down here so we can get started. And also, I went through and neatened up all of the districts. So now that they, they number one, they follow the land and roads and all that way, way neater. Like, it's actually, like, following the coastline a lot neater. So I spent ages doing that. I also, you know, expanded somewhere. It's kind of made sense. So it sort of followed, like, a section a bit more. Um, this area doesn't have a district. I didn't really know what to do with it because it's kind of weird. I didn't want to add it to this one because this has, like, a uh, no-through traffic ban. And then this one is kind of, like, a residential one. This one also has a no-through traffic ban, I think, as well. Like, a no, um, you know, whatever it's called. The local... Whatever, I forgot what it's called. So if I put it here, then it would mess up with all of this. So that's why it's kind of not a district. I don't know. Anyway, it's just nothing. I also, you might notice all the names of the districts now are different. Uh, they're named, every single district is named after a piece of Ikea furniture. Because that was the, the best suggestion. So I went through and renamed all that. So if you can see your favorite piece of Ikea furniture, we've got Kallax over here. Probably the only one I can say properly. Uh, so that's there. And then, yeah, so then, uh, like, literally everything else, except for, the, like, the parks and that I didn't rename. But, um, yeah, every district has a new name. Uh, districts are neatened up. And that's kind of that. Like, that's what I spent a bunch of time doing. Uh, we've got these highways in. Some of the highways, like, over here is like, just a roundabout interchange. Let me get rid of that. That's just a roundabout. Then over the other side, we did, I think, just a typical, you know, three-way stack. And I think I used a few of those around the place as well. Uh, down here, just because I, I downloaded that from the workshop, it was a little bit easier than trying to build custom ones everywhere. Same one there, and then I think this is the same one we've got the other side of the map, which is like the double roundabout, which I quite like as well. I think this could be a nice like farming area down here. Uh, and then that just runs up the side there. So, yeah, I really want to build this area up here, because I think this is quite good. So I actually made this section here in the middle, that's going to be a park, so we're leaving this space. And then we're going to build up all of this, I guess. Well, because the thing is, we've got so much residential demand, I wanted to work on that. And I'm wondering if we should be doing high-density residential. Because I feel like maybe by the water could be high-density. Kind of, well, yeah, kind of like this area through here is probably what I want it to look like. I think that's quite good. And we could do some houses further back maybe. But up by the water, I think we'll uh, maybe make it a bit higher density. I think maybe this side can be houses. Maybe over here can be more commercial. So let's just go with that and see what happens. There are pipes down here. There's also... Um, you know, power just up here, so hopefully they, you know, take the bait and they want to move in. Uh, we are going to need a bunch of services down here, though, otherwise they're not going to want to live here. So let's get some stuff maybe around this park area, I guess. It's not really... I don't know. Are we also going to build up the park? It's not really an ideal place to live at the moment. Um, and we don't really have great... No, I'll put this one over here, maybe on this... Yeah, we'll put it here. Sort of around this sort of central area. So we've got a fire station there. We're going to need a police department as well. Then that can go on this sort of waterfront road. And then we need a school, uh, which can go maybe back over in the residential area. It seems to make sense to me. Maybe, because there's quite a lot of land here in the middle, so maybe we can use that. Maybe high school as well. Then, of course, we're going to need public transport through here, so we will work on that as well. I think I might just check the high school there, so sort of opposite. They're both in this little road, and then we can continue this road further up that way and sort of work around that. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll just join this. Okay, what's going on? Why is this not kicking it? 
What? Why is it like snapping? To, can you just snap to that? <laughs> to the, you know, to the, the node? And then those will join in, you know, when it all works out. Okay, so that's going to go there. Uh, public transport, let's get a ferry in because we're going to need that. I'm wondering if... What is this? Oh, the bus exchange. I wonder, do we need a bigger one? Probably not. I mean, how much... Hmm. Let's just start off with a small one. I guess we can probably always add in a larger ferry stop at some point. But we'll put this one... Maybe out... No. Out here. Uh, can I... Hmm. Let's see the best spot for it. Yeah, let's just go there. We'll put it there and then we'll just join this guy up. And then hopefully this works how I want it to. Uh, how do I want this to join to here? Maybe like that? Sure. And then maybe if I just... Can I grab that? Yeah, if we just bend this a little bit more into it. I don't know. We'll just do that for now. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this is looking okay. I forgot to do... Oh, no, we do have a district. I forgot to do a theme here, though. Which is slightly annoying. Enable theme manager, the best euro, not all build. I don't know, why does it always say not all buildings are loaded? I'm not really sure why that happens. They should be, but anyway. All right, let's just extend that as well. So that's going to go there. Hopefully this gets power. Like if someone can just build here. Maybe I'll do like a little bit of commercial on that spot. Or maybe like an office there or something. Maybe they'll build there. I don't know. All right, so then what we're going to want to do is grab out our ferry line, which is going to be ferry pathway. So this, I'm thinking, is going to go to the main hub here and probably should also go over here. But I guess we're probably not going to have that many people at the moment. So what we'll do, we'll come, I guess we'll come directly out of this because we don't really need to sort of curve out. And then we've got the main shipping path here. So maybe we try not cross right there. So let's have a look. So we've got all these weird crossings going on through here. Should we go through here? Because we've got the, the tourist one there. I No, let's go through this bit. We'll join up there. It's going to go across that way. And then it's going to come down. So where are we? We're, we're down over there. So maybe if we just turn like this. I'm st basically straight down here now. Where's 180? 180 is there. So we could probably go... Go to about there. And then we might just curve this a little bit here. And then I'll just come in like that. Okay, so then that joins up to there. So then we can do a ferry line from here directly over to the hub. Uh, I guess it's wanting to go on that side, so I guess we'll just do that, sure. And then that will come back down here. So hopefully this one, ferry line 10, which I was hoping was going to stay open, but it kind of just closed immediately. I wonder if we should start naming these and organizing them, because... Uh, oh, which one are we using on these? We've got a lot of random boats. Uh, I, I need the this one, the small one. These guys. Uh, what are these? Updated riverboat. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's what we're using. The updated riverboat. So let's go to our lines. Let's check that out. Ferry line 10. Uh, select types. Oops, select types. Updated riverboat. I mean, should it be... Well, maybe we should get a bigger boat, though. Oh, no, they're both 200. Actually, never mind. That's fine. I get four of them just because the distance is quite long. So see how that goes. I should just connect up, right? Okay, yeah, they're coming out of here. That's good. So that'll get going. I, I'm also wondering... Um, I don't know if I checked it last time. Wait, hang on. Where do we have... What am I doing? We got, oh, this ferry is coming this way. I'm assuming that this bridge is high enough for them. Because uh, I don't... I don't remember checking that when I built it. So I kind of want to actually see... Oh, that one just went under it. Well, I guess I could have checked then, but... I think it's fine. I think that bit's fine. Because these boats are quite low profile. That's why... I, that's why it was really useful doing all these bridges, is because they're able to get under them. But I'm wondering about this section. Uh, yeah, that's technically not high enough. We might move that ferry line to this section of the bridge. Uh, where it's a little bit higher. So maybe we'll go here. It technically can't go here, but we'll make it go there. And then if we need to adjust the height of the bridge, we'll do that as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll get this, because we need this all to still join up. So let's get rid of this bit here. Okay, so this is going to go... Let's get rid of that bit through here like that and then this guy can just sort of join to here and then I guess this will just have to do a turn uh maybe just like that that's fine okay so that'll go like that I think that might not still be high enough but we'll we'll see when it goes back out again uh because we might just raise this section of the bridge up a little bit if we need to okay it's going the other way I thought it came back that way but never mind right well I think it's fine anyway those boats are off We've got a few people living down here in modern buildings, which I'm actually not 
super happy about. So can I get rid of these? I would like the... Why is that being built? Dude, build the... <laughs> build European buildings, please. Uh, okay, let's see. Are we, are we good now? We're going to build European stuff? No, it's still building... Huh. We have the theme here, right? Themes. The best Euro. Hmm. Did that theme get miss, missed up? Yeah, did it get missed up? So apparently none of these buildings are loaded, which I'm kind of confused by, to be perfectly honest. Why are they not loaded? Uh, well, actually, hang on. Let's go display... Uh, hang on. Included. Okay, so none of the European buildings... Are, oh, these ones are. What about high density? Oh, hang on. None high density. Okay, no, they're in here. Yeah, they're definitely... In, I guess there's no level 1 high density. Because we kind of messed that up when I did... When I added them all to Rico. So that's probably the issue. There's all the level... Yeah, these are probably all level 1. So I guess when they... Well, yeah, when they level up, they should change... Into the other buildings, I'm hoping. No level up info available. What do you mean it's not available? Is it going to level up or not? <laughs> anyway, so hopefully that'll uh, look better when they level up. We do have a bit of commercial demand, so I'm going to add some of that over here. Then hopefully we can also get this area powered up, maybe. Maybe we should go along the top here as well a little bit. Around this park. And then we can actually build up this park as well. So that's going to come down here like that, essentially. All right, so do we have people... We do have people using the ferry. Uh, okay, there's another one right there. Four people on that one. Whoa, five people were coming over here. That's great. One person on that. If these could spread out a little bit more, that'd be fantastic. There's 31 on that. Pretty good. Uh, oh, the boat went the other way. I want to see a boat going back through this way. Although, actually, I didn't check it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we didn't check that way either. Okay, so let's build... Uh, what do we need here? What, what do they want? Because apparently... Oh, I guess because the fire is not technically powered, so I guess that's why none of it counts at the moment. Oh, you know what else we probably want to get here? So aside from this little uh, crematorium, which I do want, is uh, garbage, because our closest garbage processing is going to be a long way away. I don't even know what the closest one would be. I guess over here? So maybe we can get a recycling plant. Um, I don't know where to put it right now. I guess maybe if I just build a road and I can just like sit on this out here somewhere. Let's grab this guy. So we're going to build a road and it's going to go like here and then here. So for now, this is not great. It's going to sit out here. We're going to get garbage processing. It's like a little recycling plant. Actually, we might also need more water. We're close, but not quite. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I did actually just drag the water underneath the ocean because... I mean, I guess we, we could have taken it around with the highway, but I was just, I didn't really, it's just going like that. I didn't really want to go all the way around like I did with the power lines. Um, but I did it with the power lines because I think that would just, that would have just looked really dumb. Oh, uh, well, speaking of looking dumb, I really hate how the game does this. Why do you have to use the same building? And, like, I mean, we have the ability to place them all manually, but it's not necessarily what I would like to do. Because it gets very tedious doing that. Anyway, let's build a park. Let's build a park and make them happy, and then... Well, are these guys... Actually, are these going to level up now? It has leveled up. Then why is it still this building? Or is it still not... Maybe level 2 has to be there? Let me just do it myself. Let's see if it changes. No? Huh. Are we in a position where none of these build... Oh, no. It's changing. Is it going to change to, like, the correct building? Uh, I just want to make sure that... Okay, yeah, they should all change eventually if they upgrade. Okay, cool. Right, that's good, that's good. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to the park. So we're going to get a park main gate, which I guess I'll just go here at the front, and then we'll get some side gates. Get one here and one over there, and I guess one at the top as well. And then we can just go like this, and then like that. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. And then we can just get everything we need in the park. We can get, like, a fountain, I guess. I don't know why... No, that doesn't look good. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to make these parks look good if things aren't perfectly on a grid, because everything kind of requires it to be on a grid. Except for gazebos. They can kind of go wherever. That's about the only thing that doesn't look too bad. Um, maybe we get a few gazebos around the place. It's gazebo park. You know, you know, you guys know I love my gazebos. There we go. So we get some gazebos. I mean, you get, we get the climbing frame, maybe. That might look okay. And then maybe also... Bathrooms? 
Uh, restrooms, here we go. Maybe over here. Okay, this looks really sad. Without like, because I removed a couple of the trees, but this park just looks really, really sad. There's like nothing going on here. It's just a couple of paths and some gazebos and it's just not great. So maybe let's get a few trees in here. Make it look, you know, a little bit nicer. At least a bit, right? <laughs> it's just, it's, look, we're trying to build up this new place. We're trying to make it feel like home and people actually want to live here. So maybe we should put in a little bit of effort to make that, you know, be the case. Uh, hey guys, look, the park is lots of trees now. It's great. There you go. All right, so this should hopefully level up as well. I mean, I feel like we don't need a charge for this, at least not yet. Uh, entertainment until next level is that, and then we just need more visitors, I think, and then it should just level up. Total visitors until next level, zero out of 500. No one has gone to this park yet. Well, that's sad. <laughs> it's a beautiful park and no one has been to it. And it's free. Oh well, anyway. They, they, they'll start going there, it'll be fine. And no one wants to build over here either. They're kind of building here. I want them to expand out this way a little bit, maybe. But they don't really seem to want to. Maybe zone in more of this, I'll sort of build over there. Uh, and then these guys are looking okay, I guess. It's all still weird new buildings. Um, okay, that's good, I guess. Uh, you got people driving here. How many people are actually driving down to this place? Quite a lot. Um, but I did notice that we had quite a few people here before. At least that we had 100 people waiting at one point. 114 people on this ferry. That's pretty good. Like, and it's also good. That means they're not filling up. I mean, we probably have maybe one too many ferries. We could probably even do with less, but I think four is good just for the frequency of them. So that means we always have like sort of one at either end and then maybe two traveling in between. Should be quite good. And how is this? Oh, actually, here's one going through now. Uh, oof. Still a little low, technically. Maybe we can just raise that up a little bit. So if we go up to like, I'm just really worried of making this section of the bridge too steep because it's like kind of, uh, hang on, control H please to, where is this node? There it is. So that's the same height. Uh, cause yeah, it is quite steep on this side. I mean, I did what I could. We could probably actually smooth out the slope between these points now because we don't have ferries going, going under that last bit. So that can probably come down a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. There's still quite a quite an ascent. I might actually change that section of the bridge to hang on, is that in here? Yeah. I'm gonna change this maybe just to an elevated section so it doesn't have that bridge bit that's like sloping way down because it looks kind of weird whenever it slopes down. Yeah, because that slopes down and goes across that way. That should be fine. Hopefully that's better now. It's quite a bit higher up. And I think that should work better. And then let's go from here. Maybe slope these a little bit better. I know not everyone was a super fan of this bridge, but I actually quite like it because there's quite a lot of cars using it, but I also don't think there's too many cars using it, which is good. Like, it's not completely overwhelmed with traffic. Oh, not completely overwhelmed with traffic. Let me get out of that mode. Like, there's people using it, um, but not a huge amount. Like, basically people trying to deliver to this area or they're going down over here a little bit further using the highway and all that, which I guess is probably not ideal, uh, but... It doesn't seem to really be adding to any sort of issues. This area is heavy traffic, but that's just because it's all really small intersections. And it's actually not that bad because I've, you know, enabled them to be able to flow through. These guys give way. And I think maybe even those guys there too. How do we do this? Yeah. So both these sides give way to this main road and it all seems to work just fine. So that's good. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we were talking about doing a, a tram line. And you guys suggested just doing a brand new tram line. Um, I'm just gonna check on these guys over here. Where am I? Over here. Oh yeah, they're all building up now. All using the same building, that's great. Hopefully as they level up, yeah. It seems to be like as they start leveling up, we get a few different buildings. But level one seems to always just be the same. Which is a bit of a shame, but anyway. It seems to be getting there. We could do, actually, let, before we do the tram line, let's do some more residential over this side, because there's more demand for it, so we might as well. So basically what I'm doing is just following the coastline with this road, and then essentially filling in the gaps with uh, smaller little alleyway roads, which seems to be working quite well, at least for the most part. So I'll go through there. I probably don't want to connect too many roads to this, this road here, so this next one I might not. So I might just go to here. Uh, I'm kind of snapping for a second, so that's going to go to there. And maybe we can get this to go, yeah, alongside this road. 
That'll go up to there, and then maybe this one can come through. And then this one can also join up to here, maybe. Oh, hello. Auto-save, I guess. That'll go to there, and then this one will come through like that. So there is a road. I'm wondering if maybe that road should be bigger, though, because I'm not sure how many people are going to start getting going, like, crossing through the middle. Could be quite a lot, so I might actually just upgrade the size of that road, because then we can at least... We can also add more lanes to this later on. If we use the smaller roads, these are much harder to upgrade. I like using the smaller roads because I feel like it fits the theme a lot better, but if it's really hard to upgrade them, then it's really not worth it. Anyway, let's just extend this. I haven't named this district yet. If you have a specific piece of IKEA furniture you want to name this district after, let me know. Because <laughs> apparently that's what we do now. So that's good. Uh, Alright, so that road's coming down here. Is this... This is 40 now. Okay, yeah, because most of this road is 70, but that's good. I didn't really want it being 40 in the city area. Because that's probably not ideal. Uh, Alright, this power line is kind of a bit whack at the moment. So I might just move that out. Maybe bring it down this section. Because we're not going to be zoning in this section just yet. So that'll just come across there instead. And then we can sort of zone in all of this. Get the water pipes through here as well. Uh, through here. Like that. And down here. Maybe join that bit up there too. Get through the middle. And that should be pretty... What, what is this? Why is there zoning there? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why there's zoning there, but sure. Alright, so then we're going to get some more high-density residential. Probably just through here. And then at some point, we should probably start taking it back to some houses. Because I don't really want all of this to be high-density. Maybe we keep high-density here and then start through this back section here. Maybe go to lower density now. But it'll still be all packed in pretty tight. So it'll still like almost feel like every square, but it'll be like lower density back through there. I think that'll work. How's our little park now? Do people go here? Oh yeah, we've had 80 people. That's great. <laughs> Good. Thanks for coming to the park, guys. It is free, so feel free to, you know, go through. Uh, these are lined up pretty well. I think I might just add a crossing. Seems to be one there. Oh, actually someone gave me a tip about any crossings, but I don't know what it was now. So I guess that doesn't really help me. There was like a really good tip and I'm like, oh, that's great. And then I don't know what it was. Oh, maybe it was, was it to do with if you go in here and then like junctions or something? Oh, maybe adjust for it. No, I don't know. I don't know. There was some tip and I liked it, but I've forgotten what it was. So that's great. Uh, cool. So that should start filling in quite nicely. We got people coming down here. How's traffic? Traffic is good. I mean, if it was bad, I'd be worried. We barely have anything here at the moment. Seems to be all going okay. Uh, and then, so I guess the only public transport link we have right now is this ferry that goes to here. So I'm wondering if we should maybe do another line that goes out that way. Maybe just do less ferries on it. Uh, so I guess it can come, so it's going like this, and then maybe I'll just add a section. Well, maybe it should go on the other side of this. We'll go here. So we're going to go... Hang on. I guess we'll branch off here. Okay, can I like... I don't like how it's considering that to be like a problem. But anyway, it was like this. That's fine. All right, so it's going to come straight down here. And then I'll just join into this, I guess. Yeah, I didn't even really need a turn. Is that joined? I think so. Uh, and then we can just go up here. Then it doesn't have to cross this shipping lane. Uh, so that's good. So we're going to go from here. Now this is going to go up to here. And then back. So that should at least provide a link there. That's going to be updated riverboat. Maybe we'll add two because i think maybe four on the other line was a bit much actually although 23 25 50 14 maybe we'll remove one so we'll go down to three uh so that means we have five boats in total coming down here we might need to upgrade the size of that pier at some point i don't know how busy it's gonna get but anyway so now they can get directly over here auto over here and i guess the other thing we really should be doing is like we have this ferry stop up here that isn't being used and we probably should get ferries going over here as well like we just need to work a lot more on those and try to figure out some more ferry lines that make sense. And do we have any... No, we have like fake piers. We should really have ferries on this side as well. Because I think that's something that's kind of important. The problem is we've got all these bridges that you can't get through. So if we were to add ferries here, we'd have to raise everything up. Uh, or we have to go around this way. And at that point, we already have the light rail going through here. So it's almost kind of pointless. So I'm thinking maybe we just don't do that. <laughs> Let's do light rail here. Let's see if we can get this section up and running. So we're going to go for this road here. 
Uh, and I guess it's going to have to go in that section, and then it'll have to do a 90 degree turn and come up onto this bridge. So this is going to be a separate... Uh, is there one that has... There's one with tracks in the middle of this, isn't there? Or did I dream that? Oh, it must be a modded road. I think I discover this every single time. I want to use this road. Maybe I should go get that road, because there's... So there's one that has tram tracks in the middle of this, which would be ideal, because we don't really need more lanes here. So maybe I'll go get that. Okay, so it turns out the, the version of the workshop that I was thinking of is not that good because it doesn't have an elevated version, which is kind of the whole point of this. It's a whole bridge. So we're either going to have to use a smaller road or we go up to this road. I'm not sure which is going to look better, so let's find out. So if I were to use this, which I kind of wish that was a bridge now. Uh, let me... Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Can I um, see the thing with the... Okay, hang on. <laughs> it's not working. Uh, I would like to bring this up, close that. So, this is what I was trying to get to. I don't know why I was all over the place. So, does this... It doesn't look great, does it? It's. It, I liked this because it was more subtle. And if we were to change all of these into these bits... I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it. Or So, we basically, that's the option there. Or, we're going to use this one, which doesn't have any bridge variant at all. Um, which I guess could be fine, but then, I don't know. Should we go a bigger road or a smaller road? Maybe a smaller road? I guess they should... Let's just do elevated section then, at least. Well, let's try this, and then we can change it if we need to. <laughs> you can just let me know. Um, and then... Well, I guess... Whoops. With this... So it takes up a little less space here on this island, so we could definitely use it, at least. So I guess that's good. So this is going to go up and over. And do that. Hopefully... I mean, that's not too... I mean, it is a 90 degree turn at the bottom of a hill, so... It's not, look, it's not ideal for trams, but they can probably do it, right? They'd have to go like this, and then do a sharp turn there, and then... Mm, not ideal. Maybe we'll change that into just a 90 degree turn as well. Again, not ideal, but I think it's better than the alternative. So let's go here on the ground, go like that. I oh mean, I'm not sure what's going on with this guy here. Whoops. Hello? I would like... Oh, I guess I need to, like, try and select this node there. Okay. Nope. Just this. Nope. Just that. There we go. Move that further here, I guess. Because it's doing, like, a weird split thing. There we go. Alright, so now at least it does a 90 degree turn, so it's not, like, that weird super sharp turn. And it comes around, comes back out. That should work. Okay, so it's going to do that. This is going to be a different line, because you guys are just saying it's going to be, the other line's just going to be too long. And then I guess, where do we go with it? I guess just straight down this road. And then maybe instead of going on this main road, because that kind of turns into a highway, we could turn here. And then maybe come up through one of these roads. I, d I don't know. That's kind of the thing, though. It's like, I don't really know where it's going. I don't want to go through here, because that seems way too low density for a light rail line. So maybe we go. Let's just start doing it and see what happens. So we're going to go here. Okay, let's... Ooh. Mm, nope. This one. I don't like using no collision because it kind of messes up zoning sometimes. Yeah, some of these buildings can get destroyed. Whatever. All right, so it's going to count through here. And then I guess we'll turn there. I think that's probably the best spot. So we'll go to this point. Then we turn. We're going to use the one that has the tram in the middle and dedicated lanes either side because that just seems like a good idea. Uh, it's going to go there. So that's one way, one way. Maybe we go... Damn it. My weird building that I put there. Maybe we go here because this road isn't unusual. Uh, in terms of, like, it being a one-way road. It's kind of just a regular road. And we can come all the way up here. Yeah, and then we kind of get to this point. Then maybe we just do a one-way loop. Although, what is going on with these roads? Shouldn't this... This doesn't... You can't even do a loop here, because it goes... Hmm. Hang on. I, I kind of get why this road goes that way. And this one's already going down. The problem is you can't get back to that road. I would like it to do that, but that means we have to flip this section, or we have to turn this the other way around, which is kind of weird. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense at that point, does it? Uh, okay, well, because we've got a hospital in the way is the slight issue. Well, what about if we go for a tram line? Mm-hmm. Bear with me. Tram line here. It goes straight through this section. And then we just do this section as tram road as well. This would be a two-way road, I guess. And then that's just a one-way road? I don't know why that would now be... That might as well just be a two-way road as well. Like, I don't think there's any point not having that a two-way road, because there's enough room. 
And I guess that's just the one we wrote out. For reasons, I guess. Sure. Okay, so the tram goes up here, comes through here, and then I think we'll just run it down here, because we've got a lot of uh, sort of commercial and offices down this way, so that kind of makes sense. We'll come down this way, and then maybe through here somewhere we can do a turnaround. I don't know exactly where. Um, we could do... Where is... Let's get a one way. Let's go up. Nope. Up. Along. And then we'll just come down this way. So it's just a turnaround kind of thing there. Get out of my way. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Okay, and then I guess this is just going to be one way as well. Just so it sort of matches in with the rest of it. So just a one way section there. I guess we'll get rid of that bit of road. And then we can just have a sort of waterfront section here as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Apparently this is what it's going to be now. So that's kind of fine, I guess. Don't like it being so straight along the edge here, though. It looks kind of strange. So what I might do... I'm just going to build this out of a normal road for now, and then we'll change it to the road it needs to be. And that can come up here. Let's give it this road. And then... I guess just go back into there. Sure. Alright, so then this road is going to be turned into the one-way... No. Well, I guess that's actually fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so then we're going to go... It's like this. Can I turn on the snapping, actually? So it's snapped about there. Then this will be one way, other way. Comes around there, goes back around that way. Then this can be fine. We can just zone all that in. It should be good. I think that'll work. Because now, if we have a look at it, we do have buses running up this section, which is good. So this actually goes somewhere buses currently don't. Um, kind of. Oh. We have a weird, tiny little section of road here that isn't connected to anything, which is interesting. It's always interesting finding these weird little sections of road that aren't connected. Okay, so now we're going to go from down here. Should we stop at the same point or should we stop over here, maybe? It's not really a good spot to stop, is there? Except at the same spot. Kind of wish we could do trams on either side of the road here, but I guess not. Create a new line, we'll just go there. Uh, I would stop here, but we've got nothing there yet, so let's not bother with that. Then we'll go here, a little bit further in. Then to here. Then I guess we should stop at the train station, because that just makes sense. And then... I guess further up this way. And then maybe here, because that's not even a road, so that's a good stopping point. And then... These are kind of close together at this point, like when we come back around here, but whatever. Yeah, those are really close together. Because I was kind of... I'm trying to do tramps up a little... Fo whoops. Where did that go? Did I just complete the line? How... Okay. Wait, no, I don't think I did. What did I do? Where did I put a stop? Is that... Was that what I put in? I think I did... <laughs> I did put a stop there. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I put it on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, because I'm trying to do these a little bit further apart than a bus, just so it makes sense that you could use this instead of the bus. Or as an alternative. Apparently I can't stop there. I guess because it's a bus stop. Uh, I don't want to stop too close to that road. Although, this, the, no um, cars can go in this lane, because it is a tram lane, so maybe we'll be fine. These two are pretty close together as well. Uh, I mean, I think it'll be okay. Alright, so let's do this. So now, the only thing is, I'm wondering that if this is going to be... Uh, oh, also, which tram do we want to use? DSW 400. I don't know what any of these look like. Is there a way I can see these? Do I have the vehicle manager thing? Because I've got a vehicle editor, but I can't see what they look like. All right, well, let's have a look at the trams that we're currently using. Because I've got a few different ones. We've got these ones here, which are the older one, the DSW400. Which I quite like these, except for when it's going around the corner like that. Hang on. You know, it's simple. Just a, you know, two-car two, two car tram. And then we have... What are the other ones we have? We have the one where you zoom out and it looks terrible, which I'm not happy about. But other than that, it looks good. Wait, where is it? I think it's on this line. Or not, because there's, like, no trams on this line. Is there any trams on this line? Oh no, this is the same one. Hang on, where are the other ones? Oh, maybe they're on this line. Uh, hello? Oh, here we go. Yeah, this one where you zoom out and sort of goes black on some of them for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but... Yeah, this is quite nice. I mean, this is the worst possible spot to see them. Uh, Dan High LRT 5 cars. Okay. Well, what are all the other ones that I have? Yeah, see, that's that's what really sucks about them, so I don't really want to use those. Alright, well, let's see what, what the other one is that we have. What am I doing? I want, um... This, and then I want trams. 
Then I want... Man, well, I should name these as well. I guess this one because it's purple. It's the only purple line. So, we don't want to use that one because that one's kind of glitchy. That's the older ones. E-Class are the Melbourne ones. Chirpy Tram 7 Car. What about the S1? What is this? Passenger Capacity 230. Let's have a look at what this looks like. Um, let me unpause here and we'll see it spawn in. Hello? There it is. What is this one? Oh, is this just another older style one? Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Let's see. Let's just have a look at all these because I don't, I don't know what they are. I don't remember. Let's have a look at the Chirpy. So that should hopefully just disappear now or at least go back in eventually, I guess. Where's my Chirpy? Hello, Chirpy. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, that one doesn't glitch. Yeah, let's use this. Maybe I should change the other tram to this. But the cars are pretty... What is this car? Why is it so small? I get... Oh, that's kind of weird. I don't know if I like this now. There's like these tiny little one block sections in it. And it doesn't have a back. Okay, no, let's not use that. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that either. Alright, let's remove that. Uh, hmm, whoops. Okay, maybe we just use the DSW 400. Or we just use a regular tram that came with the game. Now let's use these. Okay, how many people are on this line? There's 24. Not a huge amount of people. Let's get like four trams, I guess. It's TSW 400s it is, I guess. I need to get better trams. I mean, I tried to do this before, clearly, but they've come out not right. So anyway, now we should eventually when they start popping out again. I had high hopes for this, but then it came out weird. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, these are nice. I like these ones. I just... I guess the other problem with these kind of ones is when you have 90 degree corners, which we tend to have a lot of, they don't really turn very well, because they're clearly not designed for that. So that's kind of why I guess one with more cars is a bit better, but I don't know. Uh, how's all this going, by the way? We kind of did this a while ago and we just kind of left it. This area is super busy, and I think it's always going to be. Um, do we need more animal products? Because we've got plenty of crops. Oh no, that's kind of there now. Do we need more flour? Production. I mean, it seems pretty good. I mean, it seems to be working as well, which is quite nice. I really, I guess we should download decorative crops because if we fill this thing with these actual crop fields, it's just gonna, the traffic is gonna be a nightmare. Like, just won't work. Um, anyway, hey, I did actually name this one something. Cool. Oh, I did name this one too. Oh, cool. Wait, there's a lot of traffic waiting there. Yeah, it's all these fields. Yeah, they, they produce so much traffic. I kind of wish they didn't do that. But anyway, okay, so let's go back over here. Nope, not over there. Let's go back over here. So this tram line, let's have a look. It is looking pretty good to me. No one at that stop. Great. Uh, it doesn't appear to be... Oh, there's a couple people there. Uh, it doesn't appear to be anyone there. Not a lot of people using my tram. So I guess it's slightly disappointing. Anyone here? No, I guess not. Maybe they don't want to use my tram. I guess... Well, we do have prefer ferries on, so they might just be using that. But here comes this one. It has three people on it. Let's have a look at the line details. Maybe we need less trams. We do have 24 people there, but that's about it. I think that this line is not that useful because... Yeah, that, that's only because they're right at the end. I think a lot of these stops just have buses. So they're just using buses because it just makes more sense. And then they prefer the ferries, so I think they're using the ferry line. Because, yeah, we've got a lot of people using the ferries. Well, 16 people there, but you can see a lot of people just got off that ferry. I don't know. Let's just keep it anyway. This bridge seems really, really slow for how big it is. So I might just change the speed limit on this. Um, no, not default. No, no. Go away. No. Whatever. Sit. Close. How do I get that away? Go. <laughs> go away. Uh, I, did, I clicked save, but it... Oh, that. <laughs> All right. I wanted to show lane-wise. Yeah, okay. Here we go. So we're going to go for the cars... Probably go 70. I mean, that corner might be a little sharp for 70, and especially this one, actually. That's nah, fine. 70 or maybe 60? Maybe 60. Let's go 60. And I guess same for the trams. It's a little bit faster than going 40, because... For, I mean, 40 definitely seems way too slow for this bridge. Uh, it probably could go 70, but I'm just a bit worried about that corner there. That's quite sharp for 70 kilometers an hour. Um, it looks pretty good, though. Bit busy through here. That's all right. Back down over this way. Oh, this is busy. Oh, that's just the industrial. That's because the industrial cargo hub. I would like to try and get a train here, but I don't really know how we're going to do that. Also, yeah, we're having goods issues, which I guess I'm not surprised because the only way they can get goods here is by road, which I guess is why a train would be useful. I was like, we could either we could maybe bridge a train, 
But then even if we get over here, where do we go? Like, because we need to get to that train track here. Um, oh, that's not even a bridge. What, what is going on here? Uh, let's change that. So this is going to be a... No, let's use the brick one, maybe. Let's go here. Oh. No ideal. Hang on. Uh, let's move... Well, I guess I'll just move this here. That's probably fine. Is that high enough? Probably. Alright, that's probably fine. That's what all I needed to do. Yeah, that just looked dumb. Okay, so... Yeah, even if we get a... Um, is that high enough? Kind of hard to see. Yeah, I think it's fine. Even if we get a train over here... I don't know how we'd sort of connect it. I guess maybe this section here, I was just thinking, looking at this, should probably be brick. Because then, yeah, it's a little bit steep there. Cool. Uh, like, we would have to... go in here to our poop area. Also, the problem with this area, even though we remove the sewage flowing out of it, you can see we're still dumping sewage and it's flowing back into it. So it's like the worst possible place. Like, it's just not good. Like, even though I was like, oh, we're making a nice like commercial waterfront area, it'll be great. It technically has sewage flowing into it, though technically it is clean. Like, if we have a look at pollution, it is clean. Like, there's, you can see there's water pollution here from the industrial, but the actual sewage being pumped out is clean. Like, it's not dirty. But I mean, in realistic, if this, even still, if this is real, if this sewage treatment plant is pumping water into this, that's not, not great. I guess what we could do is maybe even just build like a little thing here. Like what if we build this? And it just goes like out a little bit because then that would just block the water flow. And let me just turn... Oh, hang on, I'll turn that back on and then turn that off and then turn that off. I'll sort of just smoosh it into that. So it sort of all joins. So that's going to go like this. And then hopefully... Okay, no, not quite like that. Uh, I didn't realize that this needed to... I was hoping this could blend in the ground. I guess it doesn't. And sort of just smudge it in there. Um, it still seems to want to flow in here though, which is a bit of a shame. Can I, like, not have it flow into here? Like, what if we then do this? Surely that will not flow this way still. Or at least not flow into here. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep the water flow out of there. Like, can you just go away from this section? We can have this nice and clean and pristine. And not have sewage flowing into it. It definitely likes to whip around here. Maybe we do that and then we can have a section here. I don't know. I mean, it might be okay now. It's still kind of whipping around here and probably going to go into there. I don't know. It's probably fine. That might also look dumb. I do... The, turning this into like a little reserve or like a little park would be nice, but... It does have sewage pumping out on all sides, so I don't know how nice it actually would be. Uh, how's this area going? Oh, look at these little houses. Yeah, this is great. This is exactly... The, that's... I love... The, I love these... These little houses. I think that's the best bit. Maybe we should get some in here as well. And even just further back. Uh, oh, yeah, the good stuff. I guess we could get a cargo harbor over here. That's probably, that's really the other solution. Uh, barring doing a train. I guess we have, we have plenty of water. So why don't we just do cargo harbor? And we'll do it. Mm. Over here makes the most sense, because that's where that is, but this is where all the houses are. It really should be over here, but then the problem is it crosses over our ferry line. But, I mean, I guess it's going to have to go over here, otherwise it just is really not going to work. So let's put that there. We'll bring this road back a little bit. And we're going to get out uh, this road here. And essentially, hope for the best. So this will come down here. Hmm, wait, hang on. Curve this way a little bit more. And then into here. Okay, so that'll do that for now. Is that connected to power there? No, it's not. That's slightly annoying. So we got some water. And then I guess if we just get a little bit more... Let's follow more commercial around this way, I guess. Maybe some offices. Offices there too. Alright, so hopefully they build there. Because then this can be operational. And then we can at least get cargo delivered here in, in another way. Because I guess using roads is really not helping us. This has crime. What kind of crime are people committing at a recycling plant? Is there anything that you could really go there? I guess stabbings maybe? But like... Beyond that, like what are you doing there? I don't know. It seems like, a, it seems like an odd place to commit crime in the middle of nowhere. 
I'm just gonna get rid of those because I feel like that's really unnecessary and just say give way there. Why are we stopping here? Or is that just because they're all merging? That might be because we're merging from three lanes. Yeah, I think this is just smudging into three. Because we go from like four down to three, or down to two. Four, three, two. Uh, I guess that's all that was. That should be fine. All right, so they're going. I mean, a lot of traffic on this road. Looking pretty good. I do like that it is coming alive, though. That's that's fun. Uh, does this have power yet? No, it does not. Dude, they've built all the way there. How does this not have power? Man. Oh, yes, upgrading. Um, it's pretty cool. We've got a lot of people waiting here. Oh, a few people waiting there. Uh, people using my tram line yet? Yeah, we need a lot. There's a lot of residential demand because we've got a lot of people that need, a, like, jobs. Where are these trams? Here we go. How are these guys going? 24 people on board. Great. Mostly empty. This is pretty much a useless tram line. Uh, it's probably a combination of the buses. I'm wondering maybe, so what bus lines do we have here? Uh, no, bus lines. We've got... Where's my little bus stop thing? Here it is. There's one here. And one here. Uh... Hmm. They are pretty useful, though. That's the thing. It's like, maybe we alter them slightly so that they're not competing with the, the tram. I mean, maybe we could probably get rid of this bus line. I don't think this one's really needed. No, probably not. So this one here, the darker green. Can I just see a bus on it? Because I just want to delete it. This one here. So this has a few people going around on it. Not, again, really not that many anyway, but I'm going to delete the line. So that's going to get rid of that one. We do still have this bus going through here. So that bus is still going to stop in this area. So it's not completely like cut off all those guys. But it means that, you know, this sort of cross pathway, maybe they'll use the tram? I don't know. I guess it might be useful if we did a bus here, because then they could catch the tram up to this point and then bus across, you know? Maybe we try that. So we go from there to here to there. And I guess here somewhere. And then, well, I don't want to go to the ferry, because that's kind of defeating the purpose. How do we get over there? What's the best way to get over here? And we go this way. This way. And come out here. So these guys get buses. Alright, so maybe this is a better bus line. Probably not. I'm going to guess that it probably isn't. Uh, and then I guess we just stop here because if we go any further, there's not much point because then we already have the tram there. Let's do that. All right, so this is going to be... Whoops. Move that. It's like types. Uh, oh, I don't know. What are we using? <laughs> I have all these... We did all these custom vehicles and I have no idea what they are. Where are the buses? Hello? Are, these just, are we just using normal buses or am I using a specific one? I'm using... The biofuel boss. Okay, so we're not really using anything special. I downloaded all these custom ones, apparently, but we're not even using them, so that's great. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So this one, I guess biofuel bus. Uh, I don't know, like four? Because apparently there's not really anyone wanting to use this anyway. All right, so that goes across. And maybe that will get more people using it. I guess we still do need a bus going up because we do have a train station right there. So it seems kind of dumb that we don't have a bus there. So maybe I will go back this way again. And then this bus can come up interface with that bus stop. And then we, this one really should just go up here as well. Uh, we'll come around this way. We'll just stop in front of the train station right there because that just it just makes sense. It seems silly that we're not doing that. And then here they can change to that bus or they can change back here, I guess. That'll come back down this way. Uh, how are we getting to here? How are we getting back there? I guess it's coming down and turning. That's not a great way to turn around, though, using that main road. I guess that's kind of the only way we could do it. Unless we did, like, a turnaround somewhere here. Maybe we could do, like, a little... I look dumb? But can I just do, like, a little... A little oomph? A little, a little oomph? Like, what if we just did it here? Because this is connected, right? Te oh, whoops. This is technically connected to the road, right? Can they still walk through here? Because then I want to use this as the bus stop. Hang on, can I? No. 
How do I... Oh. Let me go to the... Where's the last stop? Here it is. Alright, so go from there, and then we just come to here. Please tell me they can still walk through here, or do I have to rebuild it? Uh, there's people going to the bus stop. Oh, there's no buses in that line yet, though. Uh, I don't know that people are walking through here anymore. Let me just rebuild this. Because that was a that was a pretty good pathway that we had going on there, you know? I really I really felt that pathway. It seemed to really connect with me on a spiritual level. Uh, I really want to put that back. And this one here. Can I not join those together? Okay, can we stop snapping? Stop trying to destroy the other one. There we go. Alright, so that should work. Okay, so that goes there. And then... I guess what I'd also like to do is probably just say no other vehicles on this road. Except for buses, because nothing should need to go on this road besides buses. There's a bus stop only up there. Okay, and then... This bus line, bus line 7. Uh, pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. We're gonna get biofuel buses. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll start off with it. will probably be fine. Uh, okay, cool. So that bus line now goes up this way. Then we have one running across, which seems to make sense. And then we have this guy here. I was like, I guess maybe we alter this one so it doesn't follow the tram as closely. Like, maybe this instead comes up this road. Although that road doesn't even go through. Huh. I don't know. Well, anyway, that might do something. It might do something for us. It might not. I'm going to leave this part here. I guess we'll be back next time. Leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I definitely want to build out this area. Now, the other reason we're sort of over this side is so that we could start building a new university. And you guys suggested it just made more sense if we built a university that also had a town. And it wasn't just a university in the middle of nowhere by itself. Uh, so I guess we could build it out here on this one. Or maybe if we build another town over here or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, hopefully... This is going okay. I'm having crime issues. And I'm going to guess it's because the police, wherever they are in here, one of these buildings, uh, they're around here somewhere. Are they over here? I'm going to guess all these police cars have driven to the other side of the city because there was nothing going on here. So even though they're next door, there's probably no cops here. Just slightly annoying, but I guess that's just the way it is. Uh, yeah, anyway, leave a comment, suggestions, and feedback down below. We have a cargo ship coming in, which is fantastic. It means we are getting deliveries here. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.